Well, I'll show you how to carve a chicken. And with the right technique and guidelines, you'll be able to serve roasted poultry with confidence. But first, I'll show you how to make a simple and tasty Brussels sprouts dish. So first what we want to do is take the Brussels sprouts. We've got them here. I've chopped them up already in little halves. Hey, Hello. Tracy, how are you? <laughs> Good. They're just like baby cabbages, actually. They are like baby yeah. cabbages. And actually, they grow on big stalks like this. Um, Seriously. Kind of all like that, and they, they, they grow, you know, three, four feet tall. And I never got knew just that. a bunch of um, Brussels sprouts on the edges here like that. So. Now, I'm so used to seeing them, like, gross-looking. These look so fresh and These beautiful. These are. I mean, that is really the key to having good br Brussels sprouts, is get the freshest product you can buy okay. and treat them simply. They um, have a really nice, sweet taste. It's kind of cabbage-y. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're... A lot of people say, Ew, I don't like Brussels sprouts. Right, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of but them. But they're actually really tasty. <laughs> but, you know, I've never seen them look so good and fresh. So yeah. that's obviously number one ticket right mm -hmm. there yeah. is fresh. When you get them from the grocery store, they'll probably be in a big bucket like this. and they'll um, Just in a bin? Yeah, like, so you just grab a bag full. Okay. Um, so you want to chop off the end parts. And uh, what I've done is just cut them in half as well. So that helps them cook out a little bit faster. Great. Yeah. Now, so, are you lining these up face up, face down, or does it matter? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. No. Okay. You just want to rinse them off and then put them on the pan. Okay. Um, how I'm doing this today is very, very simple. Um, some olive oil, pepper, salt, and a little bit of lemon zest okay. right in here. Um, we're hmm. going to pop them in the oven. Okay. And then um, when it's done, we'll finish it off with a little bit of lemon juice um, just to give it a nice little zing. Okay. The so the lemon gives it a lot of the flavor as well. Exactly. Now, so. where, do, where do I grow Brussels sprouts? Do they grow everywhere? Um, a lot of the Brussels sprouts in the U.S. come from California in the Central Valley. They do, okay. So that's where most of the, a lot of the, uh, the big agriculture... Um, yeah, so you need a nice from. climate that's warm. Exactly. Most of the time, I yeah. should say. So I just kind of give it a quick toss with the olive oil. Okay. Put a little bit of pepper on here. You know, this is such a, a better alternative. Now, don't you usually buy them in the bag and they're all small and kind of gross looking? Um, I think that's what's scaring everybody off. Possibly. I mean, the other Maybe. thing is you don't want to overcook them, um, and yeah. so they're all mushy. And, but mushy, doing, right? So we don't yeah. want them mushy. We no, want we them nice and yeah. So just lay them out like strong. this. It doesn't really matter how it is, face up, face down, whatever. Okay. Um, and just lay them out like that on the pan. And I actually have one in the oven already. All right. That's uh, pretty much ready. ready to go. Yeah. So, so put this one uh, in. Yeah. And I'll take one out. Pop that one in and now, watch how long it's hot. Do we cook that for? Um, we cook them in the oven for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, half hour, 45 minutes. In a 350 degree oven. Okay. Yeah. So we've got this chicken here that we... Um, You're going to show us how to carve? I'm going to show you how to carve. This is Ooh, the one that we made just now. that smells good, Jamie. Yeah. It smells really good. So if you can... Do you to put them in there? Pop them in here. Sure. And then we'll we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon juice right Over on top it. of that. Oh, see, this is already better. Okay, yeah. I feel better. <laughs> I will eat my Brussels sprouts now. They're good. See, you've got a little bit of caramelization on them. Yeah, nice and that, that's and... like a million times better than yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is a chicken that we uh, just roasted. And that just came out of the oven, and we rested it for a little while. Okay. Um, so it is nice and... Um, Oopsie. The, the juices are <laughs> has flowed back into the... Uh, into the uh, I'll meat. leave those off since what they're on the What I'm going to do here is just kind of <laughs> pop out the wishbone first. The wishbone? Yeah. you got to keep the wishbone. Got to keep the wishbone. Got to make a wish. And the reason why I popped it out is um, actually so that you have better clearance on when cutting it. So oh, this okay. is your wishbone, and that just lives right at the neck, basically. It's your the clavicle of the, uh, of the chicken. So take that out first. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, as long as you understand the basic structure of the chicken, um, it's really easy Eat. to cut. Okay. <laughs> so there, are, it's a breast. There are two sides of the breast here, and then there's a bone that runs down the middle. That's the um, that's the breastbone sternum exactly. Okay. Then you have the two legs here, mm -hmm. and then there's the thigh, which connects right at the hip. Here, okay. And this is the knee, um, and this is the the leg. Okay, so... And that's then, the knee, huh? Yeah, that's the knee. I didn't know and that. These are like the arms. <laughs> oh. So this is the shoulder <laughs> and the elbow. So if you think about it that way, it's really easy to understand. <laughs> and once you understand it, you can pull it apart better. <laughs> so Better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> to cut it up, what we want to do is find the bone, just kind of feel for it. Okay. And then just cut down. Either, way, either side, it doesn't really matter. But you've got to just pick a side okay. and then cut through like this, okay? Right down the middle. Right down the middle. 
So oh, make you go sure, through the bone and everything. Yeah, make sure you, your hand's not on the <clears throat> tip here because you'll cut yourself. Okay. And then just wow, give it a good Ooh. crack like that. Gross. And then, <laughs> and then this is your chicken. Okay? Wow, look at all so the spices see the, the we made in there. Herbs in there from earlier. That's awesome. We can pull awesome. those out. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just um, let this put that in here. Get rid of that. So we've got our two half, two halves here like this. Um, Next, what I'm going to do is pull off the leg. So you make one little quick cut here, right at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. And then just peel that back, and then the hip will open up. And then you just oh. put your knife right in there. Okay. That's how they get that whole big piece exactly. of the leg. Okay. Yep. And then so that's the leg. Now, you'll notice mm. here that there is going to be a little line of fat right here. That pretty much is your marker for where the joint is. Okay. So, I mean, when you're cutting, you want to always cut at the joint between the two bones. Okay. Because it's always going to be easier to slide your knife right between the, the end that. of the bones okay. rather than trying to cut in the middle. Right. Because normally you're just pulling that leg off and then everything else just rips and exactly. then it becomes not usable. So we'll make a usable. quick little cut here and see how oh, wow. the joint really just opens up. You can see the cartilage yep. like that. Just give Ooh. it a quick snap. <laughs> How and pleasant. Then it pops open. It's a good thing so. you're the chef. <laughs> and that's then, great. So that's oh, wow. one. I'll just do one half, actually. You know, that's really good because by really learning this, mm -hmm. we're really going to use a lot more of the chicken. Exactly. Not only that, by understanding the chicken and knowing, um, not being scared of it, mm -hmm. you know, then you'll eat more real food. Love the chicken. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Americans, Get to know Americans the want to have everything um, like -made styrofoam and, done, yep. and, and wrapped in plastic, and so you don't you lose touch with what you're eating, and you end up eating, you know, Doritos all the time. So, just by having a basic, simple understanding of, you know, how these things work, mm -hmm. um, it's really a, a very good way to start eating better. I mean, yeah. Like, you have better nutrition, you'll be more healthy. Absolutely. Um, so this is the wing. I'm just going to cut this off. Now you took off. off the little end of the wing. You didn't yeah. need that. So this is, oh, okay. you know, these are very wings. tasty as well. We love wings. Yep. Who doesn't love wings? And then this is what's called an airline breast. Here, let me just Meaning what? Up. Meaning that it is the breast of the chicken. Okay. Um, and it's got the drumette attached. Got it. So that's just the particular style. So okay. if you grab me a plate. Sure. We can put this up. Great. Plate it on here. Okay. Okay. You gonna do two then, or just the one? Oh, um, we'll do that one, and then I'll take the. I like the dark meat. Do you like white meat or? Uh, I like meat? both, actually. Okay. And you Great. wanted a little lemon on this, right? Yeah. We'll put a little bit of lemon on lemon there. Lemon on that. And then that here's the thigh. Good. So grab the other plate. Sure. Oh, look at Ooh. that! And right for the people that the... love the dark meat. Yeah. My daughter loves the dark oh, meat. Oh, great! It's always more moist. Yeah, I, I like both. Mm -hmm. I like a little bit of both. Because it does have a little more flavor and a little more juicy and exactly. a little more fatty, but they say that it's still actually pretty. It's good. Because it's, it's very good for you. The good stuff. Yeah. Look how great that looks, Jamie. Okay. I like so that. So we got this. That's beautiful. This is just a little bit of chicken. And then we'll do chicken. that on this one too. With right? the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I like the lemon. Yeah, that really gives it a nice perkiness. So. That's great. Now, if you were having a dinner party, mm -hmm. would you cut this up before or when they get there? At what point would you do this? Well, you want to let it rest all the time. So right, right after you come, it comes out of the oven, you want to let it rest, and then um, you can mm -hmm. carve it table side. Sure, that'd be great. Carve it table side if you're confident enough to do that. Um, or it, that's the ticket if you're confident <laughs> yeah. enough to do or that. Or you can just <laughs> cut it, you know, in the privacy of your own little kitchen and hide away, and then uh, bring it out. Right. Ooh, and hey, look, look at, at this. this. Right. Exactly. I like yeah. that. You know what? I'd like to try sure. a little bit. Do you need okay. a knife too, or you're good? Um, yes, we do. But that I don't have. <laughs> I got a spoon. Sounds perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna use the spoon. I'm yeah. gonna try the Brussels sprout because okay. you know I'm, I wasn't a liker, but you know this is different. So Brussels sprouts are, are great to... little vegetables. They're packed with vitamins. Are and they? The, yeah. No kidding. And they're, they're very good for you. Let me try. And, sure. And especially when you roast them a little bit, um, it's got a nice caramelization mm. in there, mm -hmm. and it's uh, for the lemon at the end. It just gives a, a nice little. Uh, Zing at the end. It's good. So. <laughs> and you don't even like Brussels sprouts. And I don't even like Brussels sprouts, yes. okay? So, so that's really nice, Jamie. Okay. It tastes a lot better. Mm -hmm. I like it. So really, the ticket is fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. is fresh. always better. Um, and the lemon helps. And the lemon. It definitely brings out a nice little it, zing in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Always, you know, if you add a little bit of acid to, to really anything, um, it really picks up the flavor and, and uh, helps you 
really appreciate yeah. uh, what's going on. Yeah, that's it. a really good tip, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And carving the chicken is always a good tip to have too, because <laughs> we're a little afraid of that. You're right. So now we're not. Yeah. Great. Just have a basic understanding, and um, it's all easy. And work with it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. We can do this. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Jamie. No problem. Stay tuned. There'll be more Daily Connections after the break. Welcome back to Daily Connections. So, Jamie, this is really a great way. I know you were saying that this doesn't really take a lot of time. No, it doesn't. I mean, the, the actual prep time is maybe five to ten minutes. And then once it goes into the oven, you don't have to do anything. Forget about it. Yeah. And the other great thing with the Brussels sprouts, if you can throw them in right when you lower the temperature to 325, okay. um, they'll cook out at exactly the same time. Oh, and um, you know, perfect. you've got yourself a great little meal here I with like that. not very much effort. I like that. You know, this is so much better than going to the fat. I mean, in the time that you can actually make this, mm -hmm. you would have went to your restaurant and probably still be sitting at the Absolutely. restaurant. Absolutely, waiting for a table right. or whatever. No one reali really realizes how long you actually spend in a exactly. restaurant. From and you really actually know what goes into your meal this way, too. Which I like this, too. Yeah. You know, this is a lot better, and then we're getting a lot more nutrition, mm -hmm. and we're spending a heck of a lot less. There's no chemicals, preservatives, if you use... I uh, like that. The organic most. free range chicken, you're not going to have all the antibiotics and growth hormones. Not that we want to like take that. away from your restaurant, because <laughs> you have a restaurant, but we get the drift, really. It's, it's really better to get the wholesome, whole foods going. Exactly. Make it yourself, you know what's going into it, and you get a better meal every time. And you're happier. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, James. No problem.